final question on this particular video, um, Credo, because we've got a lot more to say on others. Um, why is it that if the Chittahuli are all around us, which I certainly feel they are, um, and they're operating certain bloodlines, now some people see them shapeshift. That's absolutely without doubt. I mean, so many people I've met all over the world have seen it. Um, into reptiles and then back again, the George Bushes, the Henry Kissingers, uh, these key people. Um, why don't most people see it? First of all, sir, I have said to you, Mr. Ike, that we human beings have got a blind spot in our brains. And this is what the Chitauli and other alien nasty boys are exploiting. Look, sir, if we are a crowd and we are standing on a city street, we will see a man suddenly grow an extra arm. And many, many of us will see that, but will refuse to accept what they have seen. I have seen, sir, people going through severe trauma in train accidents, in car accidents, but they refuse to accept what they went through. I have seen women who have been raped several times, ferociously refusing to admit what, when, the, 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 what they underwent. I've seen it many times. And these Alien creatures say, know our weakness. They know that very often we human beings tend to censor what we see. If, if you are an educated professor and you see a spook, your educated mind will refuse to accept what it has seen. You will reject it and throw it to the back banner of your brain and it will stay there. Hundreds of us see very strange things every day, but we refuse to accept what we see. Say, one of the things that a trainee Sangoma has got to, to learn, it is the ability to see. If I am standing here and looking at that bush over there, and I see something odd there. I must know what I've seen. But wait, sir. There is something else. Something very, 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 very important. Which I and many other thinkers in Africa have found. Mr. Ike. Whenever you talk about such things, people call you paranoid. Mm -hmm. But no, you are really more sane than they really are. Say, there are certain vaccination things that are done to our children which rob them of the ability of seeing spiritual entities. Believe me. I can prove this. In Zululand, we were sometimes called before the chief, before our chiefs, our Ingos, and we were told that there is a great smallpox coming to the land and that all children must be vaccinated. Do you know that my mother's father, my grandfather, used to dodge that? He said that the white man's job, the white man's vaccination, makes you blind. And if you are to look after my cattle, you must not go to the trading store to get your vaccination. But wait, the school inspectors used to come into the land and check each child for signs of vaccination or lack of it. Now, do you know what we used to do, Mr. David Ike? Our grandmothers 
used to give us great pain in order to save our spiritual eyes. They used to hit grains of maize. And then they would hit this grain of maize and using two pieces, a piece of wood as tweezers, place it firmly against the skin of the child. So when the school inspector came, he saw these blisters and assumed that the child had been vaccinated, but in fact it had not. And this was done to us many, many times. And I noticed that school children in mission schools who had been vaccinated for smallpox or for measles could not see spiritual entities at all. A a, 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 a dondo, that is a flying saucer, a spuputek, would fly through the sky at great speed and be seen by many men and women. But the child who had been vaccinated would see nothing. And I noticed this hundreds of times. Well, what you just said about the vaccines and their effect and shutting us down spiritually and multidimensionally uh, is fantastic given that um, no matter what your background, creed, culture, parents on every inch of the planet almost are being pressurized to have their children vaccinated more and more and more.